how these components are working how the components so different types of scenarios how we can use these all components and all those things we have seen it now we are coming into the important things that is nothing but making an http request how we can make an http request so in the jvanilla javascript and we are learning about the javascript thing and all those things we have seen about the fetch api and also the xml http request also we have seen it so we can use those things also in the vue is not a problem we can use those things also fetch api thing also for example let's say that we are having some fake json we are will be having right let's open this fake json i will try to show you how we can use this one json placeholder everything how we can make a, make a get request i will show the basic thing so here we are having a post request right let's say we are getting a 100 posts now i want to make a request here in the view js how we can make it in the component let's copy this one in order to make a http request in the view js so we can use the fetch api or anything the recommended one which we will be recommending is the axios library okay as Vue.js is a library, everything what we need to do is we need to get it from the third party only. So Axios or anything we can use it. So this Axios we can use it both in the Node.js and anywhere we can use it. For Node.js and also for the browser also we can use it. Right now we are dealing with the browser, right? So we can use it this one. So these are the, so it can make XML HTTP request. It supports the promise API. So we can use the interceptors. <coughs> we can cancel the request on the fly so it will automatically transform the json data whereas the uh, fetch api doesn't pro doesn't transform this one and uh, xsrf support also it will be having cross site scripting support how we can use this axios thing let's try to see it's a promised based http client request so promise based you need to know you need to understand it promise based means you know about the promise concept so it can run both in the browser and the node.js on the with the same code base on the server size it uses the native node.js http module so that is a different thing so let's try to use this node axios thing so he, this has so many uh, features why because i told you right we can use the interceptors we can control the response and request data and we can modify the headers and it supports the promise thing so this type of things we are having so that is the reason we will be using the axios so now let's go install this one npm install axios if you go into this one here let's open and here i will be installing npm install axios so just directly you can press on npm install axios so if you click on this one so it will try to install the axios thing so it, it has installed something around i don't know it's not showing anything right okay fine so if you go into the package.json you will be having the axios version so here 1.1.3 this is the version it has been installed now let's see how we can use this one so in the components we are having the post right this is the post component we have used it so right now we are have we are using the dummy data okay or otherwise we'll use the other one okay so let's create a component articles articles.view let's say we are having one component articles.view so i'm having a template i'm having a template so in this one i can show the post data so here i will be having a script tag so here we'll be using export default so like this we'll be having let's go on to the app.view and here i will not use these all things so here we will be having dot row call mod roll or something oh yeah this one is initializing this one is not working okay this new class is equal to row so new class is equal to call mod roll. something like this i am using i will use these articles articles component i am using this articles component let's import this articles component import articles from components dash articles okay so this is the articles now in this one we are trying to make the http call okay so here in this articles so now i want to do 
ajax call so here i can do import axios from axios i can use it automatically it will be imported just i am showing you how we can import it so now let's go into this one so when the component is loaded so that means nothing but mounted when the component is loaded i want to make an axios call so how can i make here axios dot get request so i can make a get request here so i can make a get request so what is the url endpoint url we are having so this is the endpoint url we are having so i can copy this one so i can paste it here so that's it so now we will be getting this is a promise this returns a promise so that means we can catch the promise using dot then then we can use the response and here we can do it console.log response dot response so let's like print the response so that's it so we are using the axios and all the things so otherwise you can use capital axios and it will work i think let's leave it like this only not a problem so now let's see whether it will work or not so we are able to inject this one articles and we'll see the output so here let's go into this one post data okay so the component is loaded let's see that it is able to call it or not so in the console so we are able to get one object here so this object is nothing but from the axios we are able to get it so here if you try to see if I refresh it is making a post request here so this is the request it is trying to make it so get request it is making and these are all the data we are able to get it and in the console we are able to see the data also so this is the config so what is what is the type of uh, what is the url what is the type of request we are trying to send these are all the configuration this is the response output data in the data you will be having these are all the headers which we are trying to send it sorry which we are which we are getting it from the servers response headers and these are all the request headers <clears throat> and this is a status status text so the data where it is present is the dot data so here i can use it something like response dot data okay so this is the how we can get it response dot data if i try to see the output here see we are able to get the all 100 type of data so now i want to show it here as a table so how can i show it here is let's take a variable here we'll be having post data okay so you can keep it as an empty or an empty array anything you can want it so here i can use so when we get a response this dot post is equal to response dot data okay so here okay we need to return this one return that's it so now we got the data here so i have initialized the data property post and after getting the data sol response dot data i am storing it in post variable now if i want to show it here so i can have a table i can have a table so it's a simple class is equal to table right class is equal to table so here we can use t head know what what type of data we are getting it just i want to see it here title body and id right so we'll try to see only three things title body and id so tr i can have ph id title and another one is the body so let's try to have like this only and we will be having another one is the t body if you want you can create a separate component for this one you can send these all post data as a props also so that one also you can do it so tr we are having so i can loop over this one b i f n for is equal to post in post right so this is the variable and here if you want post dot id so id will be always uh, unique so you can use key is equal to post dot id and in this one i can have td so here i can show post dot id and another one is the post dot title and another one is the post dot body so these are the details so if you want to get the details means so you can say that uh, when this one vi if any vi if any if i can write when the post is loaded then only show this table so now for the first time if you try to load it so for the first time it will not show you any data 
for the first time it will not show you any data and now for the after afterwards when the post is loaded see we are able to see all the data so this data entire thing we are getting it from the http request so this is how we will be making an http request in the Vue.js. so this is how we will be making until until then so what you can do here so here i can show do so when we if and if when post is not there loading post data we can add something like this loading post data some some loading icon we'll try to see those all things so here i can when i am trying to refresh so first time you'll get loading post data then afterwards while we are getting the data so we can show this for now so like this we can do it so like this we can do it so this is the basic introduction of the axios request so how we can make an http call in the Vue.js is through the axios so what is the thing first i have did it we need to install first the axios thing okay so axios so how we can install it is the using this command npm install axios so you need to install using this npm install axios the command it will work in your system so you can directly install npm install axios and you can start directly using this import axios from axios so when you want to make a get request axios.get and you can use this fake api so which you have already used in the fetch api and these all xml http request and you can get the response so store this one one data property and use this data property in the template variable so like this we can use it so this is how we will be making a http request in this one